Guys, can you see what is happening behind me? Do you see what's falling from the sky? Ah! <laughs> I hate snow. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I don't hate it. I just hate everything about it. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. You guys, it is snowing. It is not even Halloween yet. Come on. At least, uh, it's not supposed to last. But seriously, if you guys watched our vlogs last year, they're pretty much all gone now. But um, if you did, pretty much every day I would talk about how much I hate snow because uh, it lasts so long in Minnesota. If it lasted two, three months, hey, wonderful. But it doesn't. I mean, it's October. It'll probably still be snowing until April. Um, hopefully it'll go away. It's supposed to be like a snowy, rainy mix today, and then, which is like the worst to drive in, and I'm driving kind of far today. Of course <laughs> um, and then I think it's supposed to be gone but I'm just trying to pretend it's not happening right now but I it's eight o'clock right now I just got ready did some laundry Bryony's actually sleeping right up uh, how do I point over there which way okay there we go um, in her rock and play she fell asleep while I was getting ready Celia is at my mom's because you guys I need a haircut desperately. I'm surprised there haven't been comments like, your hair is awful, you need to cut it. Because you know, there are people that would actually say that. Um, because I have not officially had a real haircut since May of last year. And I have cut it myself, but it's been months. I mean, I've had a lot going on. I've been trying, it's been on my to-do list for like eight months to get my hair cut. And just with being pregnant and having the baby and I guess everything it just got put on the back burner but now that I'm off what I'm doing serious because who wants to go to a hair place with a two-year-old and a baby a newborn like not gonna happen so my mom took Celia overnight I'm gonna get my hair cut over in the town that she lives and San's mom lives and San's mom's off so she's gonna watch Bryony while I go and that way I'm only like five minutes from my baby and I'll feed her right before I go get my hair cut go get her and then it's actually my mom's birthday so I'm gonna take my mom out for lunch at this little coffee shop place where you can get lunch too so that's the plan but of course that's like a 35 minute drive and it's snowing and whatever it shouldn't be too bad and luckily I have a really good car for driving in the winter because it's all-wheel drive but it's not winter it's fall get it right Minnesota come on so yeah just get ready to hear me rant about the snow a lot. I seriously, I'm a huge Gilmore Girls fan, which most of you know, but I will never agree with Lorelai. I do not, I love snow. Like I think it's beautiful and it's sweet and it reminds me of Christmas, but it's not even Halloween yet, okay? And it's awful to drive in, it's dangerous. Now we have to snow blow and all that kind of stuff and sands always working in the morning so it's like how is that gonna happen because I have two little ones and I'm not taking them outside to go snow blow so these are just the things that come along with it and I know there are worse things in the world but I just need to rant about it because I can't believe it's actually snowing right now except I can because I've lived here my whole life and this always happens I am gonna be bringing a bottle with just in case because the worst thing is like a baby's hungry and you have no way to feed them although there's no way she'll be hungry if I feed her when I get there but if the snow makes me take longer to get there I may not have time to feed her that better not happen that would take me like an hour to get there but anyway Bryony's doing really really well with a bottle guy she like latches right on do they call it latching on if it's a bottle I don't know but she just drinks it right up no big deal at all and we have like 10 different kinds of bottles because with Celia we were like trying all these different things but she just drinks straight out of the spectra the kind of pump I have straight out of these bottles so it's super easy I don't even have to like transfer it to anything but I'm just making some eggs um, I thought I'd take you guys along just today and tomorrow because today I'm getting my hair cut and I'm really chopping it like not super short but I mean it's really long um, even in a braid, it's really long and it just needs to happen. 
and um, tomorrow is like a whole bunch of Halloween activities I'm taking the girls to and then San works early so he'll be able to join us that night for some other things so I'm just really excited and I just want to document I thought I'd take you guys along okay I guess it's kind of pretty <laughs> Ugh. very mixed emotions Here we go, guys. Pray for us. <laughs> mm, beautiful. Okay, guys. So here's the after. I'm really loving it. I got so much cut off. It is so much shorter but it's still not that short and now my battery's dying and Celia keeps coming out of her room and Bryony needs to eat she's been sleeping seriously since I left this morning which was at 8 30 it's now 1 30 so I'm probably gonna be done filming today because I have friends coming and I need to deal with these crazy children um but I wanted to show you my hair so there you go guys what do you think good morning guys it is Saturday it is 9 30 and we've already done a lot today hi I don't remember yesterday if I said so I, we were gonna have a couple of friends come and hang out last night but they ended up staying overnight thank you um, because their plans fell through but they have twin almost one-year-olds boys so it was a little chaotic around here last night and this morning and then we went out to eat um, we left at 7 30 so that they could get to where they needed to go but now we're, I just fed Bryony and we're getting ready to pretty soon go to a story time, a Halloween story time. Can you show your outfit, Seals? Celia's got a Hello Kitty Halloween shirt. What does Bryony have on? A pumpkin, pumpkin. A pumpkin. I have a black polka dot bow that she's going to wear. Aren't you? <laughs> Do you girls look cute? Can I see you together? Here, go stand by her. Oh, you look beautiful. Oh, are you posing? Where do they learn these things? <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. And then my parents are actually stopping at Goodwill and they're going to bring their trailer. And we're going to donate this because I've been trying to sell it and it's just nobody's biting at it. So I just want it gone. And then our two shoe organizers downstairs. I'll show you guys. We're actually going to end up putting a bench here. So we're going to get rid of these two shoe organizers. I have nowhere else that they really fit. And then we're going to move our shoes into this closet once I can find the shelves. They're in the garage somewhere. I don't think we got rid of them. So that's the plan. They're going to come do that. Then we have nap time. And then San will be home because he worked early. And then we will be going to some Halloween stuff this afternoon. So it's like a jam-packed day and I want to film two videos. So We'll see what ends up happening. And this is what is left over from the snowfall last night. So it definitely feels more like we're going to a Christmas celebration than a Halloween. So I didn't film at all at the story time. There was only like two families there and we were one. So it was really cute though. Just a little Halloween books and scarecrow dance and stuff. It was really cute. It's just funny because Celia has been so shy lately. Last like since she turned... I don't know 18 months or so and now she's like opening up more and like I have to remind her to be quiet and like sit down and she's always like look there's five cats and like trying to talk over the person telling the story it's just cute that she's like people are seeing her personality it's just funny she's she's a spunky girl that girl um I think I'm gonna make myself some coffee because I'm trying to pack way too much into one day my parents it's it's about noon right now my dad's gonna stop by to pick up that stuff around 1 30 i gotta get celia down for a nap i always let her watch a show before um just to like wind down and she's been getting out of bed a lot so um having to deal with that so i just need to focus on her i don't think i'll have time to film any videos today because we have some halloween stuff going on tonight and i want to take you guys along to that um but sand still has to get home i gotta get the girls ready and their outfits and everything i just I try to pack way too much in a day. I've heard so many, like, of the, like, people that do time management and stuff, they always say, like, top three things, write down three things you need to do. Um, and really, my top three are, like, feed my children, have them nap, and 
keep them alive. Like really should be my top three, but I'm always like, let's film videos and let's have people stay overnight and let's go out to breakfast and then we'll go to this story time and go to that. And and I get overwhelmed because I'm an introvert and it's just, and the details are just too much. So I just need to remind myself to like simmer down a little bit and I have plenty of nap times to film videos. I just, I really want to get good content out to you guys. Um, but I need time to do it when kids aren't running around the house. So, well, one kid and one's not like crying, needing attention. So that makes it very limited, but I, I will get it done. I just need to like do it a day like tomorrow when I don't have anything planned um, and life isn't quite so busy. I just, I, how many of you guys do that? You just like think you can get all this stuff done. Like I originally wrote down some stuff for this day and then as the week goes by, I don't get to stuff. So I'm like, I'll just do it Saturday and then ch plans change and then more stuff gets added and I just need to calm down. I'm like, I don't know. I feel like I'm just constantly trying to finish my to-do list, even though I logically know that that will never happen. There's always more to do, but I constantly am trying to always do more and more and more. How many of you guys are like that? Um, I don't know. I have trouble relaxing because I always want to do more, and to me that is relaxing. And I love YouTube. Like, I love editing and I love filming. It's just finding the time because they don't really go hand in hand with children. So, there you go. So guys, my dad just came and grabbed the secretary desk and oh, I knew this room would just like brighten up. So before there was this big black cloud right here basically of the secretary desk. It may not look like much to you guys, but if I can get it to brighten. Why is it so dark? Um, but it looks so much better. Granted, there's like random pens and dog hair that was like under there that's been there for two years, but so much better. So I'm thinking I'm gonna move Celia's toy box over here and I wanna get a rug and have this be a little play area. Or it might even be cute to have like a little table and chairs there, but now I can actually open the curtains all the way. Um, and just looks so much better. I gotta get rid of that anchor that was there. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh, it looks so much brighter in here, much prettier. We are all ready. What? Halloween. What are you? We said boo. We say boo. What are you for Halloween? Princess fairy butterfly. Princess fairy butterfly. And should we show Bryony? What is Bryony? A unicorn. <laughs> A unicorn. The prettiest little unicorn you ever did see. Papa's very thrilled about her costume. She's ridiculous. Ridiculously cute. Would you like to hold her and take a picture? Oh. <laughs> Are you ready to go, Miss Unicorn? Yeah. Are you ready to go, Miss Fairy Princess Butterfly? <laughs> hey, Seals. She does look cute. Be careful. She has a horn. She's a little. Oh, don't don't bend it, honey. It'll break. Don't do that. Seals, are you ready to go? You have your bucket? You gonna get lots of candy? No way, Mom. No way, no way what? Are you excited? What do you say? Say trick or treat and say thank oh, you. I love your light up bucket, that's pretty darn cool. Do you go say trick or treat, Seals? You can have two. Two candies, say thank you. One, one more. Two, say thank you. Do you 
want to make one? So we just got home, had a lot of fun. Celia is wired right now, having some um, beef sandwiches Sam just made up. But we're gonna call it a night. It's just kind of crazy around here. It's been a very chaotic two days, so hopefully this vlog even made any sense. But thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye, guys.